Hello, Said here. This video is gonna be about something that disturbs a little bit. Light scenes. By default, Dialogs Evo creates a light scene that it names Light Scene 1. That light scene has two groups, two luminaire groups inside luminaires and outside ones. What's the use of these luminaire groups? Well, they are here to make things easier for us. Let's suppose that we want to run the calculations for the outside luminaires only. Hmm, we don't know how to do that because Dialux is gonna run the calculations for the whole project. So, what are we gonna do? Well, so easy. We're just gonna go to the inside luminaires and dim them to zero. We can do it manually like this or type zero directly. And then we can say refresh. But if we want to make things easier, we're gonna go to set calculation and switch to fast. And then say refresh. See? There is no inside lighting, only outside luminaires are turned on. The ones inside are turned off. See, it's so easy. What if I want to visualize the street lights only? What should I do? Hmm, in this case, we will need to create a new luminaire group. We're gonna create a new luminaire group. Results will be discarded, yes. We're gonna call it Street Luminaires. Okay, enter. And we're gonna go and select these luminaires one by one. They are in this group now, in the, out, in the outside group. We're gonna delete them from this group and add them to this one. Now we're gonna go and dim this one to zero. Now we have only this one that's turned on. And then we just run the calculations. Aha, here it is. Only the street lights. This is so good in increasing the workflow and it's also good in like taking some nice views like the scenario of the street lights on only and maybe the outside ones only, inside ones only, etc, etc. To save energy and to avoid light pollution during the night when there is not a lot of people outside we integrate some lighting control systems in the luminaires electrical ballasts. Let's suppose that from midnight to 6 in the morning there would be no inside luminaires, zero, and the outside and street luminaires are gonna adjust it down to 50%. Okay? But we want to show this in our report. I mean, like, your, your client wants to see. So, we need to create, because if we do like this, we're gonna ruin this light scene, this first light scene. So, we're gonna let this one as it is, everything to 100%, and we're gonna go and create a new scene, but we're gonna duplicate this one, and we will make the changes we need. Duplicate this one, and we're gonna call it um, like midnight light dimming, for example. This, and it has the same luminaire groups, and we're gonna be like, this one is zero, and we're gonna adjust down these two ones to 50 and 50. And we will run the calculations. Hmm, that's exactly what.
what we want. Yes. Yeah, see it? No inside luminaires and the outside ones are adjusted to 50%. If you want to see this in your report, um, I think you need to do something so important and you need to check this one. Generate outputs for this light scene. If you don't do that, you will not see that in your report, okay, in the documentation part. Okay, that's cool. You can also create an empty light scene, for example, just like this. I usually do that for now, for daylight, maybe clear sky. If you want to run the calculations for daylight, you need to point the north, okay? You need to point it in the construction tab. And then you run your calculations. If you want to see this in your report too, you need to check this. Well, perfect. By the end, don't forget to switch back to standard and to run the calculations for the whole project and then you will find everything you want in the doc documentation part. That's it for this video guys. See you on the next one.